Welcome to Primetime Kitchens, How Tuesday. I'm Jim. That is Tori. Mm -hmm. We're going to wait a few minutes as people hop on board. Is it 7? To watch the show. It is 7. Just turned 7 o'clock. Why is our clock not working on our microwave? Uh, I don't know the answer to that, but you are right. It's not working. Hey, Tony. Tonight, we're, uh, we're actually doing some fish. And uh, really looking forward to it because we don't cook a lot of fish, but uh, we found some Corvina today at Publix and we're gonna cook that. I'm gonna just pan sear it off, make some of these great little squash chips I found online this week. These are not my recipes, just a recipe I kind of bit. Pretty easy stuff. Again, the cool thing about these recipes is you can apply this to a bunch of things. Zucchini, you can do this with sweet potatoes if you wanted to, it's pretty easy stuff. And tonight's is gonna take uh, no time at all. Okay. So we're gonna have a good time tonight. Uh, we big, always have a good time. Yeah, we are going to have a good time. Uh, a couple things we need to tell you about. October 6th is our big picnic over at Jetty Park. We want you guys to join us. And look, this is a uh, this is really just kind of a party. We're just kind of throwing together. The guys over at Beanbow Bakery are going to join us. They're going to loan us their grill. And they're going to give us some bread to kind of go with our pork. Also, Goose Island is going to be where they're going to be there with some beer. And we're just going to basically take donations to kind of pay for the event. And that's it. And then you can come out, camp, have a good time. We're going to have games, trivia, code black, rented like three or four pavilions. We're bringing t-shirts and koozies and all kinds of giveaways. It's going to be fun. Well, I think everybody's going to bring a dish too. Cause, oh, so yeah, it's going right. to be like... Um, like a dinner on the ground. Dinner on the grounds, Like church, like old Baptist style dinner on the ground. So we're providing the meat and the, the alcohol. And, and the and roast cussing. pork. Alcohol and cussing <laughs> ring. And uh, general Satanism. You know, just uh, <laughs> nothing big. Just uh, soft Satanism. Uh, no, but it's gonna be a lot of fun. And this is the inaugural one. If this thing turns out to be good and it's like a lot of fun whole weekend thing, well, you can bet the 2019 is gonna be that much bigger. And uh, thanks to the guys over at Wassie's Meats for donating the pigs, by the way. Awesome people. Yeah. Uh, and speaking of that, so if you're in Melbourne or even in Orlando, Wassie's throws one of the best parties, summer parties, all year. It's their anniversary party, August 25th. That's this Saturday. It's Sorry. like a mini egg fest. It is like a mini egg fest. Uh, there's going to be so much stuff. I couldn't tell you about it all in one breath. But giveaways, the best deals on big green eggs you can find all year long. I'm going to be over there. A bunch of cooks are going to be over there as well doing stuff on the big green egg. So uh, if you guys want to slide over, it's a free event. It's not going to cost you a nickel to do it. That's Wassie's Meets Melbourne. 11 or so to 4, that's Saturday. Uh, I'm going to be over there hanging out with, uh, also have some Primetime Kitchen stuff as well. So if you guys want to slide over, uh, we'll give out a bunch of free stuff. They have prizes all day long. And like I said, the best deals all year uh, on Big Green Eggs. And what's the other thing? The Big Orlando Magazine, Orlando Burger, Burger Battle Bash. coming up. Our Burger Battle. Battle coming up September 22nd. At Seminole, Seminole Harley. Harley. This is going to be a great event. Six to nine. Yep, it's going to be fun. $45 dollars for general entry. Now that's just, and that gets you tons. But 75 bucks for the VIP gets you that much more. Uh, I'll be a judge. Tom and Dan are hosting the event. And it's going to be a blast go Wait, to i'm not a judge no what why would you be a judge because i am part of this yeah but you're a dainty little woman this is burger business oh my god yes baby listen all listen, right you go get, go you, listen go. you could get hurt nope it's fine go so what are we cooking tonight More importantly, what are you drinking? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, no, honestly, join us, guys. Go to Eventbrite um, and uh, and find those tickets for the Burger Orlando uh, Magazine Burger Battle. Yeah, they have VIP tickets. I yeah, think. sure do. And uh, I believe you can go to OrlandoMagazine.com and find them there as well. We really look forward to all those events. Also, a big shout out. You know what? My man Steve White at Porky's, who's been a great sponsor of oh Primetime my Kitchen, Lord. literally. This is, guys, this is something we talk about. Literally could not open his doors today because he did not have enough employees to run his business. Yes, guys, I'm dainty, obviously. So if you want a job, if you need a job in any way, shape, or form, Steve White's one of the best people in the world. Porky's has tons of business. And my God, man, we cannot allow this to happen to one of the best people in Orlando, much less Apopka. If you need a job, servers, cooks, whatever the case may be, hit my man up, Steve White Please at Porky's at Apopka, and get that man right. Get him some good employees. We guy can continue to sling barbecue for everybody in the city. Great barbecue, I might add. Thanks, guys. Everybody's welcoming me back. All right. Welcome us back. Oh, yeah. You need to be I back. I was at the T-Swift concert. I know. What Shaking happened? my 
tease. <laughs> Don't say that. It's like a chick. It's like, uh, that's gross, actually. No. Why would what? you say something like that? No. I, you don't know what my... T-Swift, you don't know what the T-Swift is. Don't say for. it. I don't know what your life is. You say that all the time. I can't stand that. You don't. I know your life. You didn't know my past life. Tori, you and I are never this far apart for more than like an hour a day. Well, Seriously. You have, You're codependent. You, you have a problem. Problems. No, no, no. You have codependency No, you made me quit my job. I made you quit nothing. Oh, please. Let me encourage you. Go get a job. Oh, okay. No, 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 don't. You can't. <laughs> All right, okay, tonight. what are we drinking? All right, tonight we're drinking this beautiful milk stout. Absolutely gorgeous. It's called Left Hand. Yep. So, Tori is drinking that bottle of wine right there. I am. What is this called? That's Pinot Noir. I don't know. We Look what Jimmy did to my cork. Oh, my God. The cork exploded, and it's Look. floating in there like a pirate ship. What is that? It so, now I have to drink the whole bottle because there's no way to close that. Right, right, right. No, 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 no. We can put one of those things on there. We're fine. Shh. We're fine. Tonight, easy dish. Seared fish. This is Corvina in the drum family. Wait, nice, I, big, flaky, white, full, God, what? I, somebody made me this glass, and I'm I'm showing everyone. Tracy made it for me, and I thought it was super sweet. And she made you one as well. You just don't use yours. Which is rude. Okay, go. How <laughs> about drinking wine tonight, Cole? You can drink beer on oh, yeah. Uh, okay, so... This is uh, just a seared fish dish. We're going to make a little pan sauce. We're going to do some wilted spinach with garlic. All right, super simple. Yep. We're going to make these squash chips that are really, really cool. Uh, crispy, not fried, uh, a little bit of olive oil and whatnot in there, some Parmesan cheese, garlic herbs. We have our oven set at 450 degrees because these cook in about 20 minutes. And everything else is going to come together pretty quick, guys. This is a fun dish. It's not if you keep talking. As super much as easy you are. to make. And uh, man, I'm so happy that you are drinking. And back. And back. Are you going to say that again? And back. All right, super easy dish. Okay, so we have our squash. By the way, big thanks to the Winderline Farms. Yeah, this is my parents. <laughs> this is uh, actual squash from Tori's mom and dad's um, uh, garden. So we're using that. And uh, just yellow squash, right? Got some water in there. So what we want to do is these are about quarter inch slices. If you want to use a mandolin, you can. Oh, my God. Did you just hit your finger? Yeah. Love these shoe knives, by the way. Hey, Paul. Dan. Dan Paul. All right. Dan Paul's. I call him Paul for, for short. Do you know? Yep. All right. So, again, now, Tori loves the mandolin. I do so love that. You can do it on the mandolin. I'm just doing these because for some reason people like to watch me cut stuff. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut stuff. Well, by all means, give you more reason to fill the time with your voice. You know what, Tori? I honestly... It, I do know. What, what's happening in front of people right now is you're basically documenting your abuse of me. <laughs> Every, this show is nothing more than me cooking while you abuse me. It's documented. You should be... You know, honestly, you should be... You should be proud. Um, Robert wants to know if we actually test cook what we're cooking. No. We do not. And it's terrifying because I'm like, oh, I don't know if we're going to pull this off tonight. Yeah, the knives are shoe knives. Or Kai. Uh, is that the shoe knife? This knives? is their Kai Pro Series. Yeah, the Kai Pro Series. The Ghost. Amanda, Jimmy is the one that broke that door. And then he wanted to put it up, take a picture, put it up, and try to document it and act like, like, Something that doesn't exist did it. Who started this? Who started it? You did, babe. Tori, you are a psychopathic pathological liar with bipolar tendencies, I might add. But you're cute as hell. And that's what sucks. I can't get out of it. Anyway, so this thing is the one you yelled about. I was upstairs doing nothing, and you all of a sudden you call out and they're like, Jimmy! <laughs> you're so full Somebody of it. broke in. Get the guns. <laughs> you're a Republican. You do. Jimmy, we have one door that somebody could actually break in on, and Jimmy will hear a noise and get out of bed, grab his nine, get out of bed in his underwear, and start stomping through the house as if someone has has, has entered. Yeah, there's some woman out there going, oh my God, that's so sweet. That man cares about his family. Yeah, you sit here and mock my, mock it. Okay. So, insanity. Complete insanity. Breadcrumbs? Yep. All right. We'll do this first. That thing's almost at the temperature. Ooh, it is. 450 degrees is hot. So breadcrumbs. Why didn't you use the rest of the other one first? Because um, I don't know how old they are. And uh, I don't know. So 
Salt. Okay. Probably about a, I don't know, a teaspoon. Two pinches. A lot of uh, a lot of pepper. We want some good black pepper in here. We're gonna do some garlic powder. Do you see dead people? They would like to know. I do not see dead people. I've never seen a dead person. Well, I mean, I've seen a dead person. No, you said that you did <laughs> in see my van. The pool. No, yeah. Oh yeah, you're right. So you do see dead people? No, I saw a dead person. God, man, what? Am I being questioned? Am, are you gonna charge me with a crime? Um, Tori, can you please ask Jimmy if a sharpening steel goes bad? Uh, yeah. I mean, eventually you could, uh, I guess, wear out the properties that cause it to kind of hone. It's actually a honing or a straightening steel, not a sharpening oh, steel. But they, Amy, must be old school because they would like to know if that's the haunted salt. This is not the haunted no, salt. It was, was a, it was a blue ceramic bowl. Yeah, the one that scared the crap out of Cabin Boy. Oh yeah. He left the house. And that's for real. I mean, like for real, haul ass. So All right. So this is a, like Italian seasoning herbs. Marjoram, sage, thyme, rosemary, uh, oregano, all right? Okay. So we're just gonna dress these up. So we have Parmesan cheese, breadcrumbs, salt, pepper, some Italian seasons. Basically, we're just making a seasoned uh, breadcrumb with this cheese mixed in. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Super easy stuff, guys. That's all done. Olive oil with our, uh, with our spinach, or excuse me, our squash. Squash. So we just wanna drizzle, good thing of olive oil over there. Then you want to toss. So you want to make sure you get as much oil in there as possible without like oversaturating it, because this is the only thing that's going to let our uh, let our uh, our uh, uh, squash get uh, the uh, breadcrumb mix Saturated. stick. Right. So I'm going to sprinkle a little bit on here first and toss it, and then we're going to finish it up on the pan, and you'll see how cool it is. You can see already that all we have to do is bake this, and it's going to be pretty solid. Right? Like I. You get all cookie and stuff. They like watching you flip. Well, uh, 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 uh. All right, so baking pans lined with parchment. Again. Squash is so good. Oh, look what Jimmy did. Jimmy cut the parchment paper out to exactly fit the bottom. But what, again, what's wrong with that? I don't understand. You're mocking me openly for things that are positive and solid in the community. What are you even talking about? You don't even know. Just making noise. You are. You always right. make noise. Just making noise. So we have this. Obviously, you can see our breadcrumbs stuck or our. Uh, our um, uh, Robert would like to know why you cook in shoes. Um, what am I supposed to cook in? Okay. Jimmy, to... I didn't wear shoes a couple of times when I was uh, filming, and, and Jimmy's it... like, "Why don't you have shoes on? I'm gonna make fun of you because you don't have shoes on." I'm like, "We're you know in our old, that's... own house, honey. That's... This is you like... might... why don't you just go to Walmart in the tux? It's the same. Like, it's the same opposite. This is our floor. It's our kitchen. Why do you have to wear shoes? That's because... so weird. Because you're not Kelly Clarkson. Here, hold this. I don't know what that means. Kelly Clarkson. We know for a fact that she likes to walk around about barefoot. There's oh, no at her concert she Oh, yeah, it's, it's crazy. She's like a mountain woman up there singing, making millions. Thank you. Yeah. So I have another pan coming. Oh, that's got to go on the next yeah. shelf because that one won't go straight. Okay. Apparently we're freaking half the bros in Seminole County today. <laughs> Somebody said when they worked at CC's, I didn't see the rest of that. Sweetheart, everybody. CC's Pizza? Must have been. Is that the pizza buffet thing? Yeah. Um, you should have some. We oh talked about me stripping. <coughs> Didn't we? You know, I don't I don't know that we ever did that. And I don't know where the Oh my god, I almost said the F word. I don't know where where do you get that? Where would you think I'd want you to strip? You asked me when we You first are oh my god, I can't let you. There's no way it's happening. You're not telling that lie on me. No when, way. When we first got together, what? <laughs> you asked if I could strip. You are a. Tory? Your child support was way expensive. Come here, come here. It was really expensive. Hold on, I'm not done. Sit down. What are you doing? You're not the you're not the boss of me. Let's go. Stop. I showed you. I you weren't the boss of me by not stripping. You, does anybody buy that? Is anybody out there going that son of a bitch? I knew it. It was an ass the whole time. How's the herb garden doing? The herb garden is doing great. I still have birthday flowers here. These are peppers. 
This is dill. My dill is going crazy. I need to go plant that. And then I have my other little peppers back there. Those are some jala mini jalapenos back there. It's going good. The other, um, we planted the other ones out front. Okay, what are we doing now? So. Besides talking about your well, systematic I don't know if you know this, but you're the one talking. Abuse. I'm not doing anything. You're talking. You're sharing everything. For you're once. So, we're going to slice these mushrooms pretty thin. Yeah, if everybody can like and share, I would super appreciate oh, yeah. That'd it. That'd be super cool. Let's take a break. Those are going to be in the oven for about 20, 25 minutes. We're going to get them good and brown. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that wine is going down deliciously. We're going to cut these a little thin. Okay. Because I want them... Yeah, that's where we get our knives from as well. It's from Wassie's. Oh, did they get one? Yeah. A shoon? Yeah, it was for her husband's 40th birthday. Oh yeah, man, he will love it. I've I've only I've only uh, straightened this steel one time, and uh, two times actually, right before the show today, and then one other time, and it's still just I mean sharp, sharp. Like. You know, they said that if you do this um, How Tuesday shirtless, they will buy tickets to. Um, the burger rattle, the VIP tickets to the burger rattle. You mean shirtless with just my apron on? Yes. Oh, yeah. You mean like when we hang out? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know it. <laughs> That's how we do it. Uh, Justin said, let's do it, Jimmy. Shirt off. Come on, man. Um, this is... Like what is that? W-H... Is that Smithy? Huh? What is... What's, what's I don't that know. Wine? I don't know. It was on sale and I bought it. It was super expensive. Oh, yeah. It's uh, whsmithwines.com. It's delicious. Okay, it is delicious. Okay, so. We got it on sale. We're going to get this garlic pretty thin, guys, all right? So, uh, we want this to be kind of paper thin because of the way the spinach dish comes down. So, we're just going to make sure we, we squeeze, just squeeze like that, the garlic as you kind of cut it. And it'll just kind of squirt it out as you're kind of doing the chopping thing. So, you get to use kind of two little weird techniques. And look, I'm cutting that down to the nub. I mean, I'm not, you know what I'm saying? Are you really? Hey, Kelly. All right, this is it right we here. We love y'all, too. Um, yeah, Brent uses Costco knives. What's that? Brent uses Costco knives. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that at all. All right, we're going to take our um, Corvina. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and portion it out right now uh, because I want to be able to plate it without cutting it when I get done. Tanya, I should be drinking ice water, honey. Is that a bone? Yeah, there's a little bone in there, but I can't. I'm, I'm gonna get it out after we cook it. Okay. All right. So, salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't need to kill this. I mean, you gotta remember, we're, we're doing fish here. We don't really need a lot of. You know, we don't want to kill the flavor of the fish. So, just a nice little salt and pepper. Okay. We're gonna have a little sauce with us tonight too. So. We don't have to really worry about getting enough flavor into our fish. What kind of sauce? Because we did that sauce show, so. We're gonna actually do a little yes, pan. Yes, he's gonna, heavy breathing. He doesn't realize that he does that. We're gonna do a little pan sauce tonight. Okay. Like, um, kind of like a lemon cream. We're gonna use some uh, zest, some lemon juice. Like that, right okay. here go. And amazingly, this is another one of those dishes, Tori, where next thing you know, we're done. We're plating the dish. Okay. Let's take a little break. Also, I wanna tell you guys, um, so all the things that we have online, you know, obviously we want you guys to interact with us on Twitter. All of our social medias are at Primetime Kitchen, so you can check that out. Um, we do have some merchandise. I think we have a new t-shirt. It's got a cool design. Oh, our pop sockets. Our pop sockets are coming in soon, so we have pop sockets. Um, so if you want to head over to... Hold on, I have our pop sockets. Let's show them. Yeah, we have drink, eat, repeat, and we have Right, so our... Yeah. Look. Check it out. And drink, eat, repeat. Oop. How cool, huh? Okay. So we have those. We also have those t-shirts. Just go to uh, our ptkradio.com. Plus, if you want to see any other How Tuesday shows, if this is your first time, we have like 60 of these shows. So you can go check them out again at ptkradio.com. A lot of these shows have corresponding recipes with them. Like, uh, I'm one week behind. So we'll have this recipe in last week up, which was pretty well, easy. Well, I didn't put last week's up because the video was oh, so not bad. Good. Yeah. So you got out of that one. And because you went on there? Come on, man, let's get serious. Meow. I did right. get a new hair. So we have our um, we have our cast iron skillet. 
medium high. I'm going to use a little olive oil. Okay. And some butter. Some butter. Some butter. Okay, so you have this on medium high. Okay. Yeah, medium high. Now, cast iron is going to get super hot. Barb right. thought uh, last week was funny. What's that? Barb thought last week was really funny. Yeah, it was okay. I mean, uh, we did our best without you here. It's hard to do this show without you. Aww. I'm just saying that because you're standing right here. I know. Last week, I think it was completely different. So the good thing uh, when we use this butter like this tour is we're going to get a nice brown crisp. Um, hey, Sam. We uh, are Kobe. cooking Covia? No, Corvina. Oh, Corvina. Sorry. Um, Corvina is, um, I looked it up. It's like out of a drum family. So like a black drum. It's going to cook up white, flaky, real sweet, mild. mild. Yeah, really mild. Okay. Uh, that's why I kind of chose this. Cause people get freaked out when it comes to like you, the real, the real oily fish. This isn't like that at all. We're going to get a nice sear. We always see we get our smoke. We're going to let that get a little hotter. And we're going to sear our fish off. It should only take a few minutes to cook this. So what are we going to do um, after the new year? Because we can't do this on Tuesday night. No. What we're going to move. Happen? We're probably going to move the show to Sunday night and call it Sunday supper. Oh, yeah. So that's what we're right. going to do. Because we were talking about doing that whenever we started How Tuesday. It's kind of forcing us to expect to do that, huh? It really is. Uh, so I think the show will wind up moving to Sunday night, which I'm actually kind of excited about. Um, I don't mind cooking on Sunday night because by then I've already kind of exhausted my weekend. And with my new schedule, I don't have to worry about getting up at 4 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, I like mild fish too, Pat, for sure. Also, we're going to bring in some really fun stuff in the fall. We're going to make some pies. Uh, we're going to do some baked goods. Stop it. You're going to we're gonna, pies. We're going to do all kinds of stuff in the fall. Oh, my gosh. Fall you guys come watch that F show. <laughs> Fall's my favorite time of year to cook because it's cool outside. You don't get so hot in the kitchen. Um, where's uh, Corvina fish from? Believe it or not, uh, it is uh, in the South America, off the coast of South America, and it lives in about anywhere from 15 or 50 to 150 feet of water. Um, that's all I know right now about it. Um, I picked it up because they didn't have grouper. We were going to do this with grouper tonight. They didn't have cobia. Um, and I didn't want to cook anything else, so I was like, let's let's get this fish. It's all you big got white. Publix. Yeah, Publix. Yeah. Thirteen ninety nine a pound. This costs sixteen bucks. I agree. That does smell fishy, Chris. So, if you'll notice, what didn't I do? Flip them. I didn't touch it. Right. So you get in there, you move it a little bit, so you make sure you get a, a nice non-stick, and then you let it let it cook. You can actually let it cook until you see the fish start cooking up the side of the fish. Then we'll flip it over. Like a like a quarter of the way up, or how? Yeah, how you'll far? see it. And it's almost like you can't over sear it. Really, to be honest with you, I love a good crispy sear on fish. So I let it cook a little bit. Now, although I didn't do it because I kind of did it beforehand, let me give you a little, little heads up, real quick, guys. When you're cooking fish or anything that you want to get a sear on, like a real nice sear, all right, you got to get the water. Water is the biggest foe in the world. Too crispy, right? As you can mind imagine, right? So when you're searing fish or chicken or whatever the case may be, you know you want it dry. I mean, dry those, dry even fillets, stuff like that. Dry it off. Get your seasoning on there and put it into that pan like that with the oil in the pan. You don't need to worry about rubbing it down with olive oil or anything like that. You don't want to do that. You want, you want it dry. So when it goes in the pan, the fat is the only hitting in the flesh. There's no barrier. And there's no steam. Okay. All right. That's a good tip for you guys out there. You're, Try to get your fish up the game a, uh, a little bit better. Um, how do you get the fish smell out of the house? That's a good question. I would love to know. So if you guys find out, can you post it on our Drink, Eat, Repeat group page? Yes. So we I think know how to <laughs> get because... The damn. magic may be opening the windows. It, it just may be. <laughs> and um, fan. If you're just tuning in, hey, welcome to the show. We really appreciate you tuning in. This is How Tuesday, Primetime Kitchen's Facebook page show every Tuesday night, 7 o'clock. Uh, and uh, we have a lot of good sponsors that help us through the show. We have some gigs coming up. If you haven't heard, as our fish sears, uh, we're going to be September 22nd at Seminole Harley. That's a Saturday for the big Orlando Magazine Orlando Burger Battle. Uh, 15, 18, 20, 30 restaurants out there making burgers. Unbelievable, great Fancy food. Restaurants too. Yes, live music. Uh, Tom and Dan are hosting the event. I'm going to be a judge, so we really can't wait. It's going to be a great time. Seminole Harley is such a good partner. So join us then, 6 to 9 event, Eventbrite or OrlandoMagazine.com. Our picnic is October 6th over at Jetty Park. We'll tell you more about that as it comes up. But this Saturday, if you're on the coast, come see me. Melbourne, I'll be at Wassie's Meats in Melbourne. Our great sponsor with the best deals on big green eggs. 
all year long. We'd love to see you guys. I'll be there for like two, three hours just hanging out. So come and see me at Melbourne this weekend, Wasi's, for their giant anniversary. Hey, Tons of stuff. By the way, more free stuff, free food, and it's a free event. You don't have to pay one night to get in. Yeah, it's a totally free event, but we are camping there all weekend, and it's going to be so much fun. So we will be out there. I'll have the RV out there on Thursday, and we'll be there from Thursday to Sunday. Oh, man. Yeah, you got kind of what you want right there. That looks really good. And that's what you get by bumping a little bit? Tanya's going to be at Washington on Saturday. Please. I will be scalloping in Homosassa on Saturday, so I won't be there, but... I'm sure it's going to be amazing. This is fish, Chris. This is Corbina. Um, it's white, flaky. Uh, we wanted to cook grouper tonight, but we couldn't find any. Yeah, because it was just grouper we covered the coast. All right, good. Want to let those sear a little bit more? Now, internal temperature done for fish is 145. All right? You want to hit it with your, um, with your thermometer? You can certainly do that. But for the most part, once it's seared on both sides, it's done. But just to give you an idea of what we're looking at here. So we have our digital thermometer. See, we're not even close. So that's got to sear up. Now, I could throw this in the oven and probably we will here in a few minutes because it's kind of smoky. Very smoky. So we're going to throw this down. We'll throw it in the oven real quick, make sure. So we already have our sear. We're good there. And it's going to continue to sear because the bottom of this pan is super hot. Oh, they, some people already brought VIP tickets. That's oh, awesome. did they really? Yeah, to the Burger Bash. Oh, sweet. It's going to be fun, fun, or Burger Battle. I'm sorry, I keep calling it Bash. We're going to have to let that go for a few more minutes. And that's just going to cook like that? I'll just leave it um, We want a sponsor. How about a custom blind behind Jimmy with the logo of Primetime Kitchen on it? That would be cool. Yeah, what? Yeah, that's awesome. Mm. My house does not smell good, Jesse. You know how I'm OCD like that. A little bit. All right. But it's fine. Olive oil into our Dutch oven. Okay. We're going to heat that up. Mm -hmm. We're going to saute our mushrooms off. This is going to make our wilted spinach. This happens quickly. Flavorful, yummy, good, goodness. Some red chili flakes. Ooh, yeah, chili flakes. So, what did we make this week that was new? What do you mean, what did we make this week? A hot pot. Oh, yeah, guys. That was awesome. Jesse is going to give us a recipe for the broth. So, like Tori said, we made hot pot this week, like in-house hot pot, mm -hmm. which is basically, you know, broth with noodles and veggies. It's real simple stuff. Traditional, I think, Thai yeah. dish. And so, Tori is not eating gluten right now, so she found... These yam noodles that are, believe it or not, really kind of amazing. Um, Hold on, I have them. Yeah, yeah. So they're weird colors. Yeah, because when they cook, they look like fishing line. Yeah, it's gray. But it's got a really cool texture. They're very chewy, uh, and they go. They do a really good job in the um, in the broth. But it was good. It was it was really interesting. It was very filling, and you know, I'm trying to eat as well as possible. Um, and it was filling without being like overwhelming, like you know, kind of. Uh, Thanks, Amy. You know, without being like heavy. All right, so we have probably about a cup and a half of mushrooms in. Yeah, because you just certainly don't want to get anything heavy. No. Hmm. So we're going to saute these uh, mushrooms up a little bit. Oh, awesome. Mike um, and his wife, um, Mike Arnott, Arnett. Oh, yeah. Um, they're coming out and they're going to stay at uh, Jetty Park with us. Oh, awesome. It's going to be fun, man. Fun. Yeah, um... Like I said, Code Black is Code Black is printing t-shirts for everybody. Hey guys, we just want you to bring some um we just want you to bring some some side dishes. We're gonna provide the roast pig and everything else we're gonna lean on you for. So bring something good. Yeah. No, no judging. Yeah, no judging. No we, judging. Uh, we totally want to taste everybody's food. Um yeah. Pat said that she wants to do us to do a hot pot show. Oh, I'll do a hot pot show. That'd be kinda cool. We're gonna invite Jesse so he can show us how to do yeah. the um the broth. Though. I use Jesse, by the way, Jesse's uh, tamales and moths. Mm -hmm. You guys have not had ma uh, tamale and moths. By the way, I had tamale. I always get a tamale somewhere where I eat because I want to see how it holds up. Hey, Mom. And I will tell you that uh, I had a tamale at a really, really, really well-respected 
restaurant this week, and although it was very good, in my opinion, it did not have the authentic flavor that you get from the tamale tamale malls. The tamale moss is ridiculously good. And I'm just being honest. I'm not, I mean, that's not a, I mean, he's a good guy and everything like that, but I'm just telling you, his products are exceptionally good. So we just added the garlic? Yeah, so we just added the sliced garlic, because we already wilted the mushrooms, and you can smell that fragrance. It's going to hit immediately. I it's going to be super it. fragrant. So good. Yeah, we'll do a hot pot show. Maybe we'll do that next week. Um, we'll have to find out what Jesse's schedule looks like, and then see if he'll come over and show us how to do the broth. So, sauteing these down, these are almost ready to go. Then, you know, we're going to hit some spinach. Can I see how hot our um, fish is? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, I'm going to put it in the oven. 142. Yeah, not too bad. So, where, where is it supposed to be? 145. Okay. But it'll go up. Okay, spinach in. And, of course, you know, the deal with spinach. It, it just, down. like, yeah, disappears. So I go ahead and get it all in there. I broke one of my own rules. I did not wash this thing. Jimmy didn't wash this footage. We're all going to get equal by tonight. Wow. That's awesome. You know what? I'm going to go. I don't know. Let's Maybe. hope. Let's hope we don't. Hey, Jay Jason. <laughs> Willie, he'll meet you. Willie White, he will meet you somewhere to deliver those delicious tamales. Oh, yeah, he will. And they are unbelievable. It's like a camping staple for us to get a couple dozen in. They're like the perfect lunch. If you've been working, pop them in the microwave for a few minutes, heat them right up, and that's all you need. Some cold drink. Good. So again, wilting spinach is pretty easy, guys. We have olive oil. Now, you can usually put a shallot in here. Just cut a shallot up and put it in there for more flavor. We're not gonna do that. We're just gonna use our onions, garlic, and mushroom tonight. Salt and pepper at the end, and we're gonna finish it off with a little bit of lemon juice and some uh, crushed red pepper. Did you already add the red pepper? Not yet. We're gonna do it right after we get through cooking. Okay. Now, believe it or not, spinach loves nutmeg. It loves white pepper, so you can put that on there. Light bits because it's bitter. It's that nutmeg creates a really neat nutty flavor. You know, uh, spinach is great to add color. And it's like genuinely like one of the healthiest things you can eat, even if you cook it with a little olive oil, you're gonna be just fine. It's got every vitamin that you need. It does, and you know, to be honest with you, on top of that, it's super delicious. That is done. All right, so our wilted spinach is all done. Nice hot pot will continue to cook. Tony said to uh, throw in um, a couple ounces of white wine in that spinach. Oh, looky there. Check this out. Do you have some? Oh. Yeah, you can do white wine instead. I'm not going to do this either. Oh, okay. But look at those little beauties. Yum. Look at there. So that's our crispy squash. Let's move this up to the top rack so we can crisp this up. And I'm going to throw these fish uh, flakes into this oven for a couple seconds. And guys, we are that close. Now, when the fish comes out, it's going to rest for a few minutes, okay? Okay. And we're going to take that hot pan and we're going to make our little sauce, or basically a little cream lemon sauce, all right? Do you need a plate? Yeah. Okay. So we'll uh, get this out of the way. Some, some fresh parsley there to our sauce. These little fish dishes are great. Like we've been talking a lot tonight. It's 7.30 and we're done basically. So we're gonna let this kind of warm right up. We only did a half hour show. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I mean, it, it works pretty quickly and it's a good tasting dish, you know? Would you hide my wine glass? What's that? Oh, you didn't. What do you mean I didn't like your wine glass? No, I asked if you hit it. Oh, no, no, cheers, buddy. Do we uh, do cheers? We didn't because you don't Thank care you. anymore. <laughs> Honey, I haven't cared for years. Um, neither have I. This is the most abusive relationship I've ever been in. <laughs> it's the best one, though. That's sad, right? Because if your abusive horse is the best thing I've ever experienced as a male, mm. that means I've been just abused. That's all that's happened. Oh, yeah. You get your, here's what happens. You get a hair color thing, and all of a sudden <gasps> you're empowered. I did get new hair. Show them. Okay, hold on. Show them you look like Rosie Riveter. Hey. Look, hey. look at the people behind us. <laughs> yeah. It's cute though. Yeah, yeah. I like it. It's back to the OG color. We run a uh, home for homeless bros. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. All right, let's get this out here. These fish, this fish are done. I don't know. It, that one doesn't look done. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you something. Okay. Fish is that was delicious. These fish will be done. 
Thanks, Tanya. Yeah, I. She's actually a new sponsor to Prime Time. Um, it's Melissa Soroka here. Oh yeah, yeah. And she's in Maitland. So if you guys are looking for a new hair person, let me know. I'll hook you up. All right. All right. So we didn't do. We're not doing any onion in that. So we're gonna do a little garlic in this. October sixth, right? Is it October sixth? For what? For the picnic. Yeah, October sixth is picnic. Okay. Hundred percent. Yeah, this does look really good. Yeah. Alright, so. I, Chrissy, I haven't had bangs since 8th grade. So there's that. And they were teased and hairsprayed then. Right. Now they're down and in my eyes, but I love them. You know, uh, I said it last week and I'll say it again. Every picture of you as a child looks like that your mother had just abducted you. <laughs> we didn't smile. That was you our... You did not smile. You were the most... You're like old West photos where everybody's just <laughs> pissed were. and hot and dirty. I'm going to go Great. take a picture of like all of our old photos. Our all all of our Olin Mills photos. It's mad. I mean, you guys are, you're, you guys are like the mother and daughter, Bonnie and Clyde. <laughs> so we do this little trick where we cut almost down to the onion. So we get, so it'll hold it together for us a little bit. Then we chop them up. We're gonna put a little bit of this in the pan. Okay. Just to kind of give us a little. Slow down fast, Dad. Oh no, easy. Easy now. Hold up. A little olive oil. Sounds like my grandpa. All right, when he didn't want you to touch the, uh, the good furniture. Yeah. Well, it wasn't even a good piece of furniture. He just, the leg was bad. He'd be like, hey now, hey now, watch yourself, watch yourself. <laughs> but he had Alzheimer's and he had a flashlight as a baby wrapped in a hat. Oh my God almighty. He was so That's sweet, so though. sad. All right, so we're, we're gonna get some lemon, lemon zest. zest. Yeah. Okay. We were wondering when you were gonna get some lemon in this. Really? Yeah. All right. <laughs> I had no idea. It was such a giant mystery when the lemon was coming out. Well, it's because it's fish and you're supposed to have lemon. Well, you don't, you don't look. Hey, how much onion was that? Probably a quarter cup. Oh, right? yeah, just a little. Not a whole lot at all, guys, for real. Just a quarter cup. This is cup just the stuff. sauce. Yeah, we're done. I mean, this dish is, because we can look in here. We can let those get as crispy as we want. Did you save those two pieces of skin so that Honey, you could eat them? No, I just had them up to the side. No, you did. <laughs> you did. <laughs> That's God, so gosh, you are the worst human being I've ever met in you my life. You were like, oh, that's falling off. I'm going to I used to be a child me. trucker. I used to live at a truck stop. And those people are like kindred angel spirits Lot compared lizards. to you. Why would you yell out? Because that's the only thing I know about truck stops. That and meth labs. So your common knowledge is prostitution and drugs? Mm -hmm. All lot lizards were prostitutes? Honey? I thought they did whatever. What do like, you mean, whatever? What make is, my bed. No, no, no. <laughs> lot lizards don't make your bed. <laughs> they would if you If I make your bed means give you hep C. Because that's what they do really effectively. Yeah, if you guys want any of these aprons, these fancy aprons, I make them. So if you want to email us at primetimekitchen at gmail.com. That looks so good. Primetimekitchen at gmail.com. I will uh, make you a fancy apron. All right, here we go. Now, I have this. You don't have to have this. You can use chicken stock, seafood stock. All right? Well, a little bit. That's called deglazing, which means we're taking the, the skin of the fish off the bottom. Thanks, LJ. We're going to cook this down for a few minutes. Jimmy is drinking a left-handed milk stout, and I am drinking, what was it, W.H. Smith wine. Yeah, whatever the hell that is. It's really good. All right, so much like all of our pan sauces, we use the fat from the fish. We saute shallot and garlic in that, and then we deglaze. Now, this could have been white wine. We could have done this with white wine. I'm just doing this with stock because lemon is going to be our acid in this tonight, okay? So we're going to let this reduce, and then we're going to hit it with cream, lemon zest, some salt, some pepper, and then some, that's right, magic butter. What life? It's like the building block. It's like the atom of humanity. Is our fan not working? Why do you say that? Because our our the microwave not being on is is what alarming? Distracting me. Is it really? Well, it shouldn't matter because it has nothing to do with our show. Well, it does if the fan's not on. No, the fan doesn't really help. How us. much, um, Adam? They're twenty bucks. Twenty bucks for what? The, the my aprons. Oh yeah, they're great. Tori hand makes them. Oh, babe, go get the glitter one. No, I'm getting it. Honey, we're doing the show. It's fine. I'll show you my glitter apron. It's so cute. You're walking to the 
broom closet while we're doing our show. But it's a glitter apron, Jimmy, and they love it. It's glitter. I just actually did a couple uh, that were green and blue, and I put your name on it. I do a name drop. We're fancy here at PTK. All right, cream in. Tanya, you do have the green glitter one. Cream? Heavy cream? Probably about, That's so good. about that much. It's a little fatty. We're gonna do some uh, lemon at the end. Why not get the glitter one? What are you talking about? Lemon zest. Oh man, that smells so good. I mean, literally like so good. It is really good. It's not edible glitter. No, 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 no. That's just the underwear. Jimmy, this is a family show. Is it? Really? Because all you've been just talking about is prostitution and drugs. No, I said lot lizards. You're the one that said prostitution. And they don't know what prostitution, I mean, what lot lizards and meth labs are. All right, so this is almost done here. And if they do, they should question their parents. All right, call parent it out. Right. <laughs> I mean, there's really no reason we should at this point. It's okay, tall. Jimmy, uh, enamel iron cookware, iron skillet, actual flat top stove. Geez, I don't know. I, PTK underwear, smell of vision. 20 bucks is cheap if you're hand making them. I agree, and I mm. am hand making them. Parsley. Lemon, parsley at the end. So we have garlic, oh, onion, lemon, it. parsley, seafood stock. This is gonna cook down really quick and we're gonna hit it with some butter and we're about to eat. Let's do this. They're so glad that you have the silicone tongs, tongs today. Are they really? Yeah. Wow. Um, my life is all about making those people happy. Jay Jason, we would love to have, um, what did you just ask for? Iron, um, gas. We would love to have gas. I mean, a I gas stove. I should not be operating this camera right now. Are you drunk? A little bit. Why are you drunk? Babe, because I haven't had anything to drink in a long time. The whole time this show, all you've been talking about me, and here you stand drunk after having a beer and a half. I didn't have a beer. That's what you see. You never pay attention. PTK golf tournament. Anytime soon, LJ would like to know. Oh, okay, well in like fall or no no, no right, yeah. like spring of next year. Maybe. Two pats of butter. Two pats of butter. Take it off the heat. You don't want your butter boiling. Here's our sauce. I'll test it for. I love you, Chrissy. Test it for salt real quick. Or, um... Oh yeah, man. Oh my God. I'm gonna back up so everybody can see how many times you drop food on the floor. Has nothing to do with cooking. They're, cook they're <laughs> not gonna be mad, I promise. All right, let's plate this dish. So. Here's what we would do. So we would take our we would take our uh, our squash. Actually, we're gonna do it the other way. Gonna take a little spinach. Spinach. Right in the middle. Okay. We're gonna build a little squash right on top. This is so blinking hot. We do need girls' tank tops. Girl, I know. Are you still talking about clothing? <laughs> Babe, we're having conversations over here. Okay. So let's grab this piece right here because it's got the best crisp. Look how pretty that is. I know that's not professional, but I gotta get that off there so I can do my sauce. Let me grab a spoon here, baby. I know, I need to get I need to get tank tops. I know girls. I have to sell what I have. You guys go to PTK Radio and buy all my stuff so I can get new stuff in. Oh my god, that's so pretty. So there you go. So we have our crispy squash, wilted spinach with mushroom and garlic, and our pan seared corvina is ready to go with a little bit of pan sauce with lemon butter. Um, some uh, mushroom and a little bit of zest. Yep. And that is a pretty cool little dish that looks nice even in the middle of the week that is really not that expensive to make. You can make this with whatever fish you want. If you don't want to get corvina, get cheap, I don't care, cod. It will work with cod. But those squash are great because they have a little crunch. They're super savory, but they have that great flavor and that bitter spinach is going to go great with that sauce. I promise you'll like that. So 
Uh, check that out. We'll have that recipe up soon. That's our pan seared corvina, wilted spinach, and crispy squash chips. You can check out all the stuff, ptkradio.com. That's where we put it. Visit us at our events coming up. I do want you to come out and see me uh, this Saturday at Wasi's, guys. Come on, say hey. Get a deal on a big green egg. This is the time to buy one for Christmas, by the way. You won't see a better deal all year long. So we'll see you in Melbourne, Wasi's Meats. Big thanks to all of our sponsors, Mike Oliver Holmes, Goldsmith Jewelry on Lee Road, uh, Melissa Soroka Hair over in Maitland, awesome Porky's Barbecue and Apopka. And of course, Wassie's Meats over in Melbourne. It's You'll be selling t-shirts this weekend too. I'm not selling t-shirts, yep. I'm giving t-shirts away. I'm, I'm not going over there to work a booth. Oh, no, I'm, I'm not you a, are. I, I'm, gonna, right, I'm, right, right, I'm right. above working in the booth. How's that? I can say that. I'm above it. I'm better than that. Ooh. I told you guys he was such a jerk. Go. Sign off. Uh, and if you don't mind, just kind of check out all the stuff, like and share the video. We'll see you next Tuesday right here on Primetime Kitchens, How Tuesday. See you.